tragedy happened. We're also talking to a mother tonight who ended up in the national limelight along with her five-year-old son, Milo. They are regulars at a restaurant with a loyal waiter there who sent another table of customers packing for making fun of this little guy. We have a lot coming your way in the next two weeks. SSA has the interview. And Basima Sher. Yes, indeed. A waiter in Houston overheard an insult aimed at this little boy and refused to serve the people who said it. Tonight, I'm going to be talking to his mum about the flood of good deeds that started with one man doing the right thing. Too often people get attention for doing the wrong thing. Tonight in our musty must share moment, Aisha is putting the spotlight on someone who Aisha stood up for what he thought was right. Yeah, that's right, Susan. His name is Michael Garcia, and he's a waiter in Houston, Texas. Some of his regular customers are the Castillo family, Kim, Eric, and their son Milo, who has Down syndrome. When another table of people insulted their little boy, Michael refused to serve them. He said special needs children need to be special somewhere else. That's like saying you can't come in here because you're a different skin color. He told me that if I couldn't serve them, they were going to leave. I probably shouldn't have said it, but I was like, okay, good. Well, I'm so pleased to say that Kim Casillo joins me tonight from Houston. Kim, thank you so much for making time for us. Let me start by asking you, how did you learn about what Michael, Michael the waiter, had done for you and your family? Uh, one of the other waiters came up to us uh, at the end of dinner and told us what had happened. And walk me through it. How did it make you feel? How was the story told to you? Uh, basically, the waitress Candace just came up and said, I just wanted to let you know what had happened with Michael and the other family and let us know at that point uh, what the gentleman had said and how Michael had handled it. And how did it make you feel to know that in this day and age someone would say something about a child, your child? Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't surprise me too much. Um, I think as a parent to a child with special needs, you expect some of that. Um, and, you know, I was impressed and um, really taken by Michael's reaction to the situation and that he stood up for us, um, regardless of what it meant for him. And I want to be absolutely clear because we, we, you know, there may be some viewers who are watching this conversation that you and I are having and they might say, well, was Milo being disruptive? Was he making noise? Was he ruining other people's dinner? What was he doing at the table that, that evening? We had just sat down and we, uh, it was about a week after Milo's fifth birthday and so they were talking to him, encouraging him to use some of his new vocabulary, asking him how old he was. Um, so there was probably about three waiters around us talking and interacting with Milo. Um, was he a little loud at that point? Uh, I don't think he was really being loud or obnoxious. Um, certainly not any more than any other typical child. Um, and it certainly didn't warrant having someone call him out for having special needs. Yeah. What kind of reaction have you, see, have you received from people who, who've been hearing this story, hearing what Michael did? Uh, it's been great. We've had people all over the world sending us messages on Facebook and email and um, saying that they stand with Team Milo mm -hmm. is now uh, really how it's being referred to. Uh, and Michael has had people sending him money from all over the world as well. In fact, a family with a daughter with Down syndrome went into the restaurant this past weekend and delivered five $100 bills wrapped up in a wow. drawing that the little girl had done. Um, and Michael has decided to give all of this money to the school where Milo attends. Uh, so he did the right thing and he continues to do the right thing. Let me ask you this though, Kim. The family that insulted your child may be watching us tonight as we have this conversation. Do you have a message for them and people like them who insult other people, be them children or adults, just because they see them as different? What would you say to that family? I would say next time maybe give that uh, family or that, that individual an opportunity because you don't know what you're going to miss out on. And just so I ask, how is Milo doing? You know, before I let you go, I hear he's a wonderful little boy. He is uh, a very sweet, uh, precocious little boy. All right. Kim Casillo joining us there from Houston. We so appreciate your time tonight and you sharing the story with us. And we hope that others will learn from it and people will do the right thing. Kim, thank you. Thank you so much. Well, as this story spreads on Facebook and elsewhere, lots of you are wondering how you can give Michael, the waiter, a big tip. He's already received hundreds of dollars in the mail and at the restaurant you heard Kim mention some people have gone in to give him money. 
And you also heard us say he's donating all of it to Milo's school for children with special needs. If you would like to donate, we've posted a link to the Rise School. I'll say it again, the Rise School, on our website, hlntv.com slash Evening Express. So, so many people reacting to this and donating, as yeah. you said. Aisha, thanks. It is 29 minutes past the hour. One